Welcome everyone. This right here is the brand new iOS 26 in iPhone 11. And it runs so smoothly, it runs so great. So I'm gonna go through all of the new features of iOS 26, then I'll cover what to expect after you update because I think you will find that you really wanna update. So immediately we are presented with a brand new redesign. This is called Liquid Glass. So your app icons, the widgets, they act like glass. Imagine a glass table, right? And then you just put stuff under the glass. That is how the app icons are presented. And it has a beautiful look. Look at this calendar icon as I swipe it across. And then look at this widget as I swipe it across. It is so beautiful. However, by default, after the update, you're gonna have the stock icon look. So if you wanna have the liquid glass, you might not even want to get it because it is kind of hard to differentiate your icons. But if you do want it, just long press on the empty space, tap edit. Let's try that again. Tap edit, customize, and then it's set to default by default. You can choose clear or you can choose tinted to get a color look. And on iPhone 11, the full redesign is here. There's no limitations. There's no setbacks. Apple have done an incredible job with this overall look. Now there's a bunch of other features. So first of all, when you open up the Photos app, and if I go to the home page here, on the older software, it was just one page and you scroll down, but they've listened, iOS 26 separates your photo library and then your collections, which are just all of your albums right here. You can see just like that. They've also streamlined the look with the camera app. So if you want your different modes, just swipe across. So we're gonna swipe across to access your different modes. And then you have your rotations there. And for your more options, just swipe up from the middle and you're gonna get your extra options just like that. Now, if I go into the messages app, there is now the ability to set custom backgrounds for people you chat with. So I've done this on another device. You can see the wallpaper there. It's a very nice wallpaper, it even is animated. It will be animated in your iPhone 11. So just go into a message chat, tap the person's name, and then tap on backgrounds. And then you can just you know change the wallpaper for whatever you want. Keep in mind when you change the wallpaper, it does apply to the recipient. So the recipient's wallpaper will change as well. So just keep that one in mind. Uh, you want to make sure you and your recipient like the wallpaper you set because uh, it will apply on both sides. There's new updates on sending and receiving calls. So if we go into this settings app and then we're going to look for apps at the very bottom and then we'll go into the phone setting. You will now notice we have hold assist detection where, you know, when you put in a hold on the, in the past in a phone call, you have to just wait five minutes, you know, you're stuck on a call. Hold assist means that you can just leave the call, do whatever you want, and then when the person comes back, your iPhone will ring again, and you can just join a call. You also have new screen unknown caller option. So if an unknown person calls you, it will put them into voicemail. An automated bot will say, why are you calling? They will have to respond and then in your iPhone 11, it will show you what they're saying and you can choose to pick up the call or just hang it up and block the caller. Very nice features, all supported in the iPhone 11. On the lock screen, we have a big clock. Look at that. Wow. So incredible. I'm, I'm smiling over that. You know, it's over when I'm smiling over that. But you have a brand new clock option. So if you go from your home screen, swipe down from the middle and then long press on the empty space, and then you just tap on customize. You should be able to resize your clock. Now, if it's not working, you can see it's not working right now. The reason why is only one of the fonts supports this resize. That's the one at the far left, the default font. And once you set that and go out, it will let you resize just like that. Those are the main features. You are missing out on Apple intelligence uh, there's this visual intelligence feature where if I screenshot something, you can tap the search and it will search with Google, but you could just use the Google app 
and then you could just put your image into the Google app if you uh, want to use this feature. So that's not really too big of a deal. There's also another feature missing, uh, missing in iPhone 11. You can see on my iPhone 16 Pro, as I tilt the phone, the background moves, and this is the, a 3D wallpaper look. In iPhone 11, you are unable to set the 3D wallpapers. These are called spatial scenes, and they turn 2G images, and they give them a 3D look. You're not gonna be getting that one in iPhone 11. They've also made some changes to Safari that might confuse you. So I don't know what Grubbin is. Oh, that's a vocal one, I was, I was concerned there. But if you tap the triple dots, you will notice a different menu. So if you want to access your Safari history, you want to close all tabs, go into this triple dots, tap all tabs, and the way to close out of all of your tabs now is you long press on the tab, and it'll give you the option to close all tabs right there. If you want to check your Safari history, tap the triple dots, tap on bookmarks, and then tap this clock, and that will show your Safari history just like that. So overall, there are a bunch of different design changes, a bunch of different looks, and this is a really beautiful iOS 26. Now, after you update, I said you'll have to expect some things. You will have the worst experience of your life for the first three hours. So your iPhone 11 is gonna run like garbage. It's gonna run so laggy. The phone is gonna be so hot. The performance will be terrible. However, this is just something that will happen for three hours and then it will go away. You just have to be patient. After the update, the apps and the processes for the software are being optimized in the background. This has to happen every time a new major update releases. And while the processes and the apps are being optimized, then the phone is gonna run really slow. But once that is done, you're gonna have extremely good performance. I mean, you know, you open stuff, it feels pretty smooth, which is quite nice. You're gonna have even a better battery life than iOS 18, yes, you heard that right. Well, the iOS 18's battery life was quite terrible to begin with, but iOS 26 does actually have better battery life than iOS 26. Oh, excuse me, iOS 26 battery life is better than iOS 18. So this is what happens when you record videos at 11 p.m. But this phone is just so much better on iOS 26 and it looks a lot better. If I am have the choice, I'm on iOS 18 right now, I would update to iOS 26. I would do it so quickly. This is such an incredible update. And real quick, YouTube do not promote my videos like they used to. So if you enjoyed watching this video, then it would really mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, how's your experience on your iPhone 11? You know, do you like the phone? Are you planning on upgrading? Uh, just let me know in the comments. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye.